Welcome to the show. Hey, everyone. Dear Austin. Dear Austin. That's what we're calling this one now. Mm-hmm. We really like, we, we want you to feel like maybe you're on the back mm-hmm. patio mm-hmm. of right. a nice bar. Mm-hmm. We're just kind of sitting around. It's mm-hmm. one of the, the patios that it's has nice, like comfy couches. Right? It's got some fans with some misters. Oh, I love yes, those misters. Yes. So we're, mm-hmm. we're just chilling on the back patio. That's it. Mister's going. Mm-hmm. It's it's only like eighty two degrees, <laughs> which in Austin is like, like there's people yeah. walking around in sweaters right now. That's I want right. You to imagine it's that. chilly. It's, it's chilly. chilly in Austin yeah, at, yeah. at eighty two degrees. They do have shorts on, but uh, um, a sweater. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Shorts and a sweater. Yeah, and and that's the vibe of Dear Austin. That's it, right. it, We don't claim to know everything, no, but no, we no. do claim to know everything that comes out of our mouth. <laughs> I mean, I don't, but but DM might. Yeah. All right, so we, we are going to talk about something a little bit different this week. Okay, you know, we we've, we've yeah. been kind of like up here, heady right. high, thirteen things to know before moving to Austin. But we're just no, this is we're going to call this the pizza episode. The pizza episode. <laughs> because everybody wants to know, like, whenever right. you move somewhere, you want to know where's the good pizza. Where can I get that cheese, that sauce, that crust, those and maybe, toppings, and maybe some toppings. Those toppings. That's some toppings. Toppings a bag. That's right. Feed the birds. <laughs> where's you know Mary? the reference? There where's we go, Mary? Mary Poppins. Where is she? Um, so we're going to talk about some pizza in Austin. As Laz has conceded, I have much more experience with pizza than him. <laughs> Just a little he's bit. He's already admitted it. And and it's not because he doesn't like pizza. It's no. because he's more on the gluten-free I side actually, of life. I actually, I love pizza. You love pizza. I do love pizza. Now, you're from a place that's somewhat known for pizza. A little huh? bit. I'm from, uh, you know, you know, from uh, the New York area. Okay. So, uh, you know, there is uh, definitely a specific style of pizza that comes out of that area. Okay. Um, I mean, and there's, I mean, a pizza joint every other block. You and know, and where what I I, from what I know, like, there's a lot of famous originals. That's right. Yeah. So, so you're here in Austin. So let's just start there. Okay. So I'm here. Yep. I'm homesick. Okay. I'm a New Yorker. Okay. <laughs> That's know. what we all sound like. Yeah. I'm a New Yorker. <laughs> I want some za. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, he's 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 a New Yorker from Boston. I, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. So, give me one or two places that I'm going to go that that will hold me over till I right. get home for the real, real. There's a few locations around here, um, but I think it's the the most accurate representation of uh, of New York pizza is the Brooklyn Pie Co. It is okay. the most accurate. So, I highly recommend uh, checking that out. And they do have a gluten free pie there. So you can uh, go gluten free if you're feeling, you know, a little uh, uh, healthier or uh, desirous of not eating good pizza. Yeah, well, I mean, I mean, <laughs> gluten free is not so bad if you like thin crust. So a gluten free okay. pizza is more oh, like okay. a thin crust pizza. Um, so that's pretty good. Uh, I, you know, a lot of people talk about home slice. Um, I think it's uh, a little. I, I, in my opinion, in my opinion, it's a little gimmicky. I think the slices are are large for uh, no reason, you know. And uh, you know, it's good though if if you like that thin kind of pizza. Um, I, I would say Brooklyn Pico is a little doughier, and so I like it. It just it just has more of a, a bite to it. Okay. So for New York style pizza, that's probably where I would recommend. I um, have partaken of more pizza than you. Probably. Um, You've been around a little bit longer than Been me. around a little bit longer. Yep. I was also in the food scene. That's right. That's I right. also happened to be with somebody who, if I ever say, what do you want, it, the answer is pizza. Pizza. Um, she is a pizza connoisseur, okay. if you will. And so we, we try a lot of places. Um, yeah. If somebody said, I want the best pizza in Austin. Okay. Okay. Now, just, just on the plate, yep. like blind taste test, in my opinion... It's actually outside of Austin, but it's a place called Pius Pizza yeah. Company. I, I have heard a lot about this because of where I work and where I live. Yes. Because it's out by me. Yeah, he lives yeah. out that way. Haven't had it yet. Nope. Um, but here's the thing about, and, and, and this is going to sound like, okay, why are you recommending this if I'm going to a pizza place? So Pius Pizza is my 10. Okay. Okay, for Austin. But then when you go there, you really need to get the um, pastrami. Oh. The house made pastrami. Yeah. Um, get the platter. Okay. So if you don't want to partake of the gluten, you don't have to. But it's a smoky house. And it's, in my opinion, and I've tried probably half a dozen other places here in okay. Austin for pastrami. But I will tell you, this pastrami is bomb. It's okay. 
wonderful. And the way I like to do it, they, they give you like some crusty bread with it, house-made crusty bread. Okay. Put a little pastrami. They got some pickled onions. Nice. They've got, uh, I usually ask for a yellow mustard. They use, because I prefer that. I'm not a Dijon or a ground mustard person. Okay. But I'll get a little yellow mustard, um, but there's also Dijon mustard, and you build yourself just a little, like a little crustini, if you okay. will. But the, the pizza best. there is everything is like, you know, the, the pepperoni is is wonderful. It's a wood-fired oven, oh, like yeah. a brick-fired, yep. wood-fired pizza. It smells great. It comes out quick. Yeah. It's got the perfect crustiness. Mm-hmm. Uh, wood-fired pizza, you do have to have an appreciation for a little bit of a charcoal-y burnt taste. Yeah. Because otherwise, it's going to be underdone every time. Yeah. So it is a science okay. with wood-fired pizza. But I would definitely put Pius up there. Now, another wood-fired place that I think if if Pius is the 10 this is the 9 okay but because of the because of the ambiance of the place it's a place called Backspace okay and there's the park on 6th street okay and right behind the park is this place called Backspace and there's like maybe maybe 5 to 7 tables yeah. and then like a counter okay and again wood fired pizza they always have like burrata and we always get the um, we always add prosciutto and oh. an egg to it. Mm. And egg on a pizza. Egg. Oh, yeah, I, sounds I, great. I've never even considered it, but oh, that sounds my, amazing. You've never yeah. had an egg on a pizza? No, we don't. So do I had that. this a long time ago. So it started in Europe. Interesting. And I didn't even know it was a thing. And and when yeah. I had a I when I was younger, I had a house in Europe, and we would travel back and forth. And the first time I saw an egg on a pizza, I'm going to be honest, I thought it was an abomination. What kind of like is it poached or it's a fried in or? the middle is it's usually almost like you would call a sunny side up egg. Okay, yeah. And so you've kind of got that uh, yolk that yeah. you can spread across. Oh, that sounds amazing. Uh, backspace. Just they make everything fresh, everything in house. You see them making the dough right there. Same with Pius, but it, you know they've got an extensive wine menu. It's 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 a date place that okay. you can get pizza. That's awesome. And to me, it's like, what more can you ask for? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you're being yeah. romantic and you're eating pizza. I do want to mention another place by me. By you? Yeah, it's three sixty pizza. Um, they are. Uh, I think there's three locations altogether, but you know, up uh, up in the. Uh, you know the six twenty, the the twenty two twenty two, that okay. four points. What area. kind of pizza are we getting? They're like thick, thin, kind of uh, standard. It's pretty standard, but they have the best ingredients I've ever had. Okay, uh, I must have spent forty five dollars on one of these pizzas once mm-hmm. because I just had every like arugula artichoke and i just you know they had a delivery minimum and i just went crazy and i was yeah. clicking all the ingredients and everyone was fresh it was probably the best pizza experience i had ever had just because i allowed myself to spoil myself yeah this one time uh um, i love everything on a pizza oh i just I'm one of those on like loaded up yes yes just boom 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 Somebody who does an excellent job with that is Southside Flying Pizza. Oh, okay. I've They've seen got that. a couple of southern locations, hence okay. the south side of it. Right. Southside Flying Pizza, we'll order from there. And they have some pretty, like, they have one called the Redheaded Stranger. <laughs> and it's kind of meat with red peppers and tomatoes and, oh, just just a fantastic. Yeah. They're kind of more of a, what I would call a hearty pizza. Okay. So it's not like a thick crust deep yeah. dish, but it's definitely a hearty pizza. Nice. I usually will get from there the, the, I think they call it the works or the kitchen sink yep. or, you know, kind of the variation of everything. Right. And one thing that they do that not a lot of people do here because we are in Texas is at one point I had developed like a severe allergy to uh, jalapenos. I think okay. I built up a resistance to it to where it's not as bad as it used to be, but they actually put Serrano's on their on their works pizza versus the, your standard kind of jalapenos. Right. Although I love jalapenos and they have pizza with jalapenos on it. I love the Serrano peppers. And so Serrano peppers has definitely become like an alternative for me because I can have that kick and that spice right. without worrying about the risk of whatever it is that's in jalapenos that's bothering okay. me. Um, so what, I used to live on campus mm-hmm. um, and I used to like to go uh, to Via 313. Mm. They have a few locations around town now as well. Yes. Um, right, four or five now. Yeah, I, th- I think so. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. And so I, gluten-free option there. So uh, Even the thick crust? Yeah. Yeah, they'll do a gluten-free on that one as well. So describe this pizza, because if you don't, I will, because they, yeah. they need to understand that we're not just talking about another pizza No, place. no, no. So this is, so three on three, area three code for three. Detroit, right? Detroit-style so pizza. So it's Detroit-style pizza. 
Um, so it's it's a thicker crust. It's not very like thick. Uh, it's a bit of a rectangle too, right? Yes, it's yes. not. It's not like your traditional circular pizza. Right. Um, they have. A, I, I don't know all the ingredients, but I know that there's a balsamic glaze on one of these with some prosciutto. Um, it is. Oh yeah, that's a like, really good pizza. They do melts in I your think they mouth. Put fig on that. There's one. some fig on there. It is one of the best pizzas I've ever had in my entire life, Austin or not. Um, it's just a different style than the New York style. But I mean, if you haven't had Via Three One Three, you are missing. So out if on a you're from your the life. Midwest, yeah. which I'm from the Midwest. Midwest, we like hearty. We like mm-hmm. thick. We mm-hmm. like. And here's my little. Uh, we'll we'll call this fat boy tip. Okay, fat boy um, tip. So via 313, the way Detroit-style pizza is done is it's no sauce, then the cheese and ingredients, yep. and then they pour the sauce over, just kind of like ladle it over top mm-hmm. as like a you know a streak over top. Yeah. Which is... But the sauce is so amazing. Yeah, it really you is. You have to get a side of sauce when you order via I've 313. I've never done that. If you get what? via 313 what? and you get like... You know, pepperoni or yeah. meat lovers or not the not the one with the balsamic right, right, reduction, right, 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 right. but anything with their sauce. Uh-huh. Get a side of sauce, oh. and oh, and everyone's hearing my Midwest accent. Yeah, like, right. get some sauce, and sauce? it's really good. I yeah. tell you, yeah. oh yeah, I betcha. It's so good, right? Um, but yeah, get a get a side of the sauce and uh, just dip. dip it. Dip that 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 right there. Oh my god, will change your life. I know what I need to do this weekend. Forty North. Okay. Uh, it's kind of, it's a little house. They have some great pizzas. I've been in there, actually went there with my family. I'd heard a lot of good things about it and tried it. If Pius is my 10 and, um, Backspace is my nine, this is probably my 7.8. Okay. You, you That's see not what bad. I'm saying? That's not bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, I'm out. I kind of want something, you know. Yeah, I'm and it's far it, away from Pius. I'm yeah. not quite close to. You're uh, in town in town. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um. 40 North, definitely very good. Again, it's more of a brick uh, or oven-fired yeah. pizza, thinner crust, that sort of thing. They serve them a little larger than some of the you know, mm-hmm. kind of quick pizza places, yeah. things like that. Uh, East Side Pies. Oh, yeah. So, you know, and again, I mean, these are all locally owned and operated, great pizza places. Um, and, and here's the thing. I would put a hundred dollars on the fact we've offended somebody. Oh, there's no, <laughs> there's no way we haven't. Somebody said Oh my God! Right? They did not even talk about right X, Y, or Z. He thinks he's a New Yorker. Yeah, yeah. whatever. First of all, you are entitled to your Absolutely. opinion. Absolutely, and you are entitled to place in the comments. That's Have right. you tried so and so? That's right. You know what? Hit us up in the DM, please. Uh, Instagram or whatever, right? Uh, or in the say, comments of YouTube. Comments of YouTube, and just say, "Hey, you need to try this place." That's right. Here's the thing. I'm not saying I've tried every pizza place. Mm-hmm. I've mm-hmm. probably tried, I'm going to conservatively say 20 pizza places in Austin. I've probably only been to about five to seven. Okay. That would be my guess. I've conservatively yeah. tried 20. One, I'm going to give an honorable mention. Go right ahead. Uh, Georgetown okay. and now Round Rock, uh, 600 degrees, and I think the new one is called Round Top. Or Anyway, there's like a boxing theme, and we'll put it in mm-hmm. the... It, yeah, it'll be it on the It goes screen, right either. here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um, but it's owned by the same people. Six hundred degrees owns it in Georgetown, and they use pizza ovens, but okay. they use excellent ingredients. They make everything in house. It's it, and again, it's like going to be a thirty forty dollar pizza. Yeah, well worth it. Okay, well worth it. So if you're up north, Round yeah. Rock, Georgetown area, well worth it to go to those places. Okay. Nothing controversial. We're just talking about no, pizza. just pizza, man. No one has opinions on pizza. No. So I'm no, sure no, no one no. will have anything to say about right. this. Everyone will 100% agree with That's us. It. Uh Let us know. I'm willing to try more places. Yeah. I'm open. If I, you're saying, yeah. you have not tried such and such and so yeah. and so, you it, must try there. And right. we might have to have the, the great, pizza episode part two. Right. I Maybe mean, like a year might, down we, the road. We might need to do a pizza episode on the road on the road we might need to be out at these pizza places eating some pizza fresh out of the oven za all day baby if we have to we have to we you know folks we're willing to do that for you for you guys for you like sometimes i think about it yeah and 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 i I hate to get a little emotional here don't bring me there but i'm willing to if i have to eat a dozen two dozen 50 different pizza spots over the next year just to be able to give a fully That's informed right. That's right. opinion. I'll have to, yeah. I will do this for you folks. Yeah. 
I will eat pizza every week for a year. One whole 52 pizza places. If that's what it takes for you to feel as if I have a fully informed opinion. Dear Austin, we love you. We love you. Good night. This is how we hold it, Austin.